Good morning, traders. This is the morning brief. Uh, so basically what I got going on here, I think today we will see new all-time highs in the SPY. We saw new all-time highs in the diamonds yesterday. Uh, we have Apple breaking out, uh, going into the uh, iPhone lunch, the 16th of September, uh, which they are boasting that there are AI capabilities in the new phone. So uh, it's starting to break out to, to new all-time highs on Apple. And we do have a new all-time high in the XLC. That's your communication ETF and spiders. Uh, that, that primarily weighted with Google and Meta. Uh, so heads up on that. Uh, some things that are happening in the markets. It's pretty much looking bullish. I would say, in my opinion, you're probably looking at a 60-40 bullish reaction to NVIDIA's earnings. In my gut feeling, it all comes down to the... Uh, guidance and stuff and so uh, basically what's happening is these companies are laying off their staff and they're pouring the money into the AI evolution uh, typically historically what we see in a, in a topping situation you see companies laying off and them cutting back from R&D we're not seeing that this time we're actually seeing investment R&D and, and at the expense of trimming any extra staff that they have uh, I have two college friends. Both of them had had jobs for over 20 years. One in Seattle, one in California. They're both sitting on the unemployment line right now. And they both said that there are just no jobs out there at their, at their former pay scale. So if they do want to go back to work, uh, they do have to take significant pay cuts to get back into the labor force. So just some heads to think about, uh, things to think about. Uh, they were senior managers at some of the uh, some of the most prestigious companies in the war in the country. So uh, heads up on that. Uh, so I'm going to start with my spy right here. We're right we're just hair's breadth away from all time high touch. I think we'll see it this morning or sometime today. Uh, not sure if it'll happen in cash session or not. Uh, so basically, we're above. I I use uh, two main indicators: the two hour and the one hour. The two hour with the 20 SMA, we are bullish on that early on this morning. So we should actually, uh, you know, uh, lean a little bit more bullish for the all time high touch. touch. And then uh, I also use the one hour with the 50 SMA. And this is our mo momentum indicator. Initially, right now, this morning, we're still hanging above it. So this is on the bullish case for the morning early on here, 750 in the morning. Still giving us bullish signs this morning. Uh, now, what I've got on this chart down here, and I'm going to zoom into it real quick, guys. And uh, this here from the 2022 October low, uh, this is your anchored VWAP. And this is your anchored VWAP from the beginning of this year. And as you can see, the slope is virtually the same on both of those anchored VWAPs. Okay, and so base, using your anchored view app, this suggests that we will have a really good shot to go to 580 before potentially an exhaustion here in the market city upside. So, like I said, we're, we're breaking out right now. We're in the 560 area, but there's a really good chance before the week's out, we might go to 580. So be quite mindful of that scenario. Okay. Uh, one other thing that I did want to show you guys on the daily, and this will give you another little way of looking at the markets, maximize. And if you put your market maker move on your charts, okay, and uh, look at this. So 570 is the expected move, potential expected move. That's what they've already priced in into the markets. So. Heads up on that. Above 570, you start getting into a positive uh, gamma situation, which could very easily squeeze into that 580. I'm not saying we're getting 580 this week, but I mean, uh, the odds are, in my opinion, that we're probably going to squeeze up into that 580 area here in the next week or so. So let's keep that as, a, as my primary scenario here going forward. Okay, uh, Q's. Uh, Q's, we still got a gap above us here, uh, if you guys haven't noticed. Uh, sorry, I got a lot of garbage here on the uh, 
on this chart here. I mean, I should have cleaned it up before I came in. Let's see here. There's a big, there's a gap right here, guys. If you zoom in right up there. And so we do have a nice little upside gap that likely will get satisfied before any type of correction for the lower gaps. So let's definitely keep that one on watch here going forward. Uh, I'm not nearly as bullish on the queues. Uh, and I'll show you the reason why I'm going to remove some of this garbly junk here. So uh, what we got going on here on the queues though, on the two hour, we are still below the 20 SMA. So this is acting, acting a little more bearish. Heads up on that. Oh, that's something I don't need anymore. And don't need that anymore either. Okay. And then uh, we are, but on the momentum indicator, we are still slightly above. It's in a down sloping. So the, this this tends to be, uh, we have declining momentum based on our moving average. What well, basically you want to have be a price above this and upward sloping. So, you know, this suggests uh, de uh, decelerating momentum in tech. So be mindful of that. Uh, that NASDAQ could blow everything out of water, water, but this is suggesting decelerating momentum in tech, and NVIDIA is reporting tonight. So I definitely want to point that out. What I, the problem I've got going into tonight, um, you see how these lows right here, uh, if you draw your uh, channel, with the actual lows, we may have potentially already topped in the NASDAQ. There is a potential that we have topped uh, if you do it that way. Uh, now, if I do it, uh, draw it a little different. Let me get this out here. Let's see if this thing will move up for me here so I can. There you go. Yeah, it's not working. Let me activate this. Let me draw it again. Remove. Things being difficult. Sorry about that, guys. Go down here. Anchor right there. Anchor that on that right there. So this is an, uh, another way of looking at it. So if you draw your FIB channel, similar to the uh, S&Ps, if you, like I said, you came down here, it, if you anchored your midline down here where it became new support, you know, uh, potentially your support area, if you, anchor it lower there, then, then we've already topped, okay? Potentially topped, okay? But if you go for this year's anchored VWAP, then we actually got room here all the way up into the 525 area, okay? We're currently at the 476. So we're looking at a 50%, 50 point up move that would line up with this prior area. But we're going into, like I said, this news event with momentum declining momentum okay so we have to be mindful of this situation uh what's unfolding here you know uh typically going in into an event on declining momentum the odds favor a dis disappointing uh reaction to the numbers and we're talking about 300 billion dollars uh that's in play for tonight's earnings it's one of the biggest earnings events ever in history in the markets. Okay. Uh, so, so be mindful of this, you know, uh, but there is definitely the potential for upside up into the 520, 525 area, uh, depending on, you know, uh, uh, depending on how you draw this. And uh, there is a 200 day moving average on like the 160 minute. I think that's where it's tagging the 200 day moving average. So, I mean, that's why I, earlier I drew it off the bottoms. It makes more, you know, uh, so we got it, it's really tricky there. Okay. So, heads up on that. 
Okay, and if, if you look at your expected move here, like I said, 525 would be put it, putting us, uh, see, this is your primary trend in the markets if you go out in the bigger, oh, uh, for this whole weekly, weekly five year. See, this is your primary trend. So, so basically, if, if we were to go up to the 525, we're breaking back above this. You know, we'd be coming back up in this situation. You know, basically, you know, repeating what we've just done to get up into that 525 area. 525 be put up here. Okay, so heads up on that. That would mean uh, this will take us out into uh, uh, late September, October. And that would line up with where a lot of market participants are expecting a market pullback. So heads up on that. Many, many market participants are expecting a market pullback around that time frame. So let's keep that keep that definitely on watch. Okay. There we go. Uh, IWM. Okay. Uh, IWM here, guys. Uh, so uh, main takeaways I've got going on here on IWM. Uh, it seems like we're finding a little bit of resistance here, and I want to point out the anchor versus the anchored VWAPs. So, uh, what we've got going on here, we are still fighting this uh, uh, trading range. So, basically, we came up, we looked above, came down, failed, and failed hard. Okay. So, this is really still looking like a failed breakout pattern. Okay, this this second move up here, this should have been a stronger move up, in my opinion. So be very mindful of this. Everybody thinks we're going to have this big rotation into uh, the, the small caps. OK, the charts to me are warning me that that's not really what the price actions tell me. So, you know. I would personally be looking more towards the short side at this level for the IWM. So uh, let's see how it plays out and, uh, you know, see if we can get a setup to the short side. Now, if you go over here, we're still above the 20 on the two hour momentum is bullish, but we on the, on the one hour momentum has turned bearish. So this is giving us a warning that we might be setting up for some bearish momentum here. Uh, at this current level. So heads up on that. And then diamonds broke out. So heads up on that. Uh, diamonds, uh, we did put in a new all-time high yesterday. And I do want to point out this as does look good for the upside. You know, if you market, market with your anchored view apps, you know, it looks like we're heading up to the uh, 425 area. So, you know, another, another 13 points higher. You know, it really does look like a breakout. Uh, we are our momentum indicator. We're above our 50. We're above our 20. Everything's looking good there on all that. Like I said, Apple's breaking out, trying to run and stuff. So, so there. It gives you a pretty quick rundown of what I'm seeing in the markets. So heads up on that. It doesn't, to me, look like the upside is done. And, it, you know, and uh, so... Yeah, uh, and remember we had a very strong positive reaction to Taiwan Semiconductor's earnings, suggesting that Nvidia is going to, you know, at least hit their numbers if not beat them. And uh, but yeah, like I said, it's going to be about how deep of a order book uh, Nvidia really has. How much you know? Are they going to maintain their guidance? Are they going to you know you know it really? It's really iffy here, guys. Really iffy. But like I said, the uh, as long as they maintain or you know don't change their guidance, they reiterate everything. You know, I, I see us going higher by the end of the week, and uh, you know, very very limited downside in my you know, you know. Well, I can't say that, but you know, anything can happen tonight. But right now, going into today's session, have to lean to the upside going into this event. Okay, thanks a lot.